Become vegetable, wakey wakey, start laying down now, no need to sit. You don't even have a chair. I always have a fresh bed, and at least my fresh bed is comfy, and it smells nice. And I have my baby beak with me, so family is together. So I'm, I'm with you, hun. happy, and I'm, dr and I'm drinking my favorite drink. Ha ha. Yay. Yay, how are you drinking her favorite drink? Honey. What? So dumb vegetable. Oh no, Sir Onion has um, information to share. Onion said, "My relationship is perfect." In quotes. At uh, what? Yeah, because 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 wifey is perfect. Good job, Dum Dum. Yee. Do you, do you really have to share it with everyone that your relationship is perfect? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> oh, why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because mm -hmm. uh, it's very important. Like, yeah, I know that more why you said that. Um, I'm saying it because um, my relationship is the best, and you can't tell In me otherwise. In comparison to. In comparison to everyone else. Tell me what? No, ego top. Ego, like well, like happy. ego waffles. Shush. No. What? I I am uh, saying that uh, I'm happy that that you have a perfect relationship and you're happy with me. I am happy. So you with don't. You. So you don't feel the need that you need to cheat on. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what? The, the, this dialogue <laughs> is so veggie. Veggie, and, I hate you. An ordeal I like that doesn't mind. change the fact that I still get hungry. <laughs> no, no, I hate veggie. I don't love veggie. I learned this I firsthand as I headed towards the foot hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. You know, we hate used to this is not perfect lower my mic a little bit. There we go. Veggie is a ball. Ball. Ball, ball, ball. veggie. I don't like balls. Um, Actually, I love balls. I like chicken balls. Like, you know, from chi up. from Chinese takeout. Shush. What? Shush. What's no wrong? Enough. What's wrong with Chinese takeout? Everything. What do you mean? Not real Chinese food. I can ch cook Chinese food. Oh, good job, hun. What? Dumb, dumb. What? Honey. What, 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 what are you meant to do now, hmm? Um, hi me, what are your plans? I might kill you. <laughs> I already watered one of them. Oh, very good. What, what else you want, are supposed to do? Um, snugglies. Thank you, snuggle. Yeah. And uh, maybe sip some of my tea. You don't want a sip of mine? Mm, sure, why not? Wait, my hun, this is actually so good. The more I drink, the more of a cherry aftertaste I get. Really? Oh, no. this is sick. Yes, I just took a three sip and I can't taste this cherry. Mm, it's so good. Aw, oh, so good. Honestly, this might be one of the best flavors I have. I had. Hmm, maybe Monster is worth a try after all. Tommy! Honey! What? In, it's, it's like my Bulldog Samyang tier list. Oh, but, Bulldog but Samyang. Honey! What? Honey. You know my tier list? Mm hmm. Okay, name it. One, um, two, four. My favorite. Um, the only one I remember is uh, Creamy Carbonara. It's not creamy. It's oh, carbonara. It's just it's just normal carbonara. Yes, because um, creamy is uh, I've never tried it and it's the mildest flavor and I don't like mild flavors. I'm probably I'm probably getting it mixed up with my creamy bacon carbonara that I eat all the time. Okay, Bo. What <laughs> about what about second place? Um, I don't remember. I'll give you the hint. It's the same number as this spot, too. Um, Team Future no, Bulldog you... flavor? Shut up! <laughs> no! I don't know. Two. Two is the name. 
on the ladder. Two times spicy? Yes. Yay. Yes. Okay, number three. It starts with K. Why? And it says... What do you mean, why? <laughs> I always felt K okay, well, has to be a funny no! veggie. Oh! Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> ow. ow. Uh, okay. Okay, what what starts with K? Why me ow? I mean, I would say curry, but that starts with a C, not a K. Veggie, you stupid! You're meant to buy me a bulldog curry. I'm waiting. Oh, I know, pumpkin. Um, I, um, you know the Korean famous like salad, I say. Kelp? I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you kimchi. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't remember that name, sorry. It's okay. What about number four? It's the one I had recently. Um, what letter does it start with? Well... The... The, the packaging was green. And... It was, you know, the silly Korean word that Veggie couldn't pronounce. What well, how do you expect me to remember? J. Two J's. Uh, it wasn't it like Jajang or something? Dumb, dumb, that's why you, how you pronounce <laughs> it, and it's dumb. <laughs> you pronounce it as Jayang. 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 <laughs> Jayang. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> that's that's uh, black bean sauce. Oh, I remember black bean. Okay, you can read, hun. Okay. Uh, hi, Jimmy. You're already here. Good morning. Oh, wakey, wakey. Dom Dom. Yo, yo. You want a greeting like that? Ah, uh, yes, Honey, please. Good morning. I, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, and a yay. big hug. Yes, you please. Want that? Mm hmm. I'm here with you right now, honey. Oh, huggy. And it's not, and it's not morning. Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Yep, Ball died. Very sad. Yakia, who appointed himself as our leader, was killed. And the person who killed him was our friend. <laughs> Sorry, I can't take that seriously. Why? His fucking face. And he turned into well like... He turned into like a... Deep fried mess. Yes. And that is. friend was also killed right in front of us. More like grilled right in front of us. Am I right? Reggie <laughs> <laughs> is so cruel. Mm hmm. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Boo hoo. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. Like, what happened? Yeah, yeah, and then they're both killed. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Aww, why are you always so mean to me? Still, I understand about Mr. Hahan, but is there a reason, reason for us to be sad about her turtles then? Maybe because it was an accident? I don't know. The heck do you mean? I mean well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Understand how you feel, but you're going too far. I mean, have some remorse for that person, please. Uh -huh. I mean, some people don't deserve respect, though, or remorse. I agree, though. <laughs> huh? Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. That was not my intention, but... Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash. Pastor who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserves to get killed. In fact, I found, I'm not even relieved he was executed. If I could have... I would have totally spat on him too. <laughs> she has no filter whatsoever. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, what gives? It's a 
her, Brienne, like you have something to complain about? Well, it's not about that, but... Something smells, don't you think? Oh, she thinking about food again? <laughs> eh? Again? Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Nah, it's not the smell blood this time. It just smells really bad. Oh boy, someone shat themselves. Shut S up, baby. It's bad. probably you. It's no. probably you. Yes, you. No. Yes. Well. Well. Am I, am I, able, am I able to check my uh, my little pet in the middle of these cutscenes? Uh, can you open settings? Um, that's not, that's not the settings. Well, I'm worried I'm gonna um, accidentally skip all this dialogue if I press the wrong button. It's kind of like how a bar or a nightclub smells after closing time, you see? Oh, I can. Uh, well, my pet seems fine. That's good. I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it, I do smell something. It's like a sewer or rotten garbage. <laughs> I know what it is. Nekumara's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Okay, so, sorry, but there's this stupid fly that's dying, and I don't know where it's dying, but I can hear him dying. What does a dying fly smell like? <laughs> uh, nothing, or but so it's sound like, very... not smell. <laughs> Buzzing? Buzzing? Yep. Yeah, it's probably like, bzzz, I'm dead. Yes, yeah. like, <laughs> that. like that. But I don't know where it is, and baby B fell asleep, she hasn't... Well, she least she can tune it out. No, she can eat flies, you know. Oh, so good. I wish she she would be good. Well, wake her up then. No, I'm gonna wake you up then every single time. I'm awake. Then. I'm awake already, bun bun. No, but when you're gonna sleep, I'm gonna just on purpose wake you up. I say, honey, I need <laughs> you something, but you're gonna be grumpy. <laughs> and then what? I was like, no, uh, not with that attitude and leave. <laughs> and then come back next hour and wake you up again. Like on you. Nah, you want that? Nah, I don't mind. Dummy, you don't yeah. mind now, but, but you're gonna mind very much. Nah, I don't mind. It's for a hun. Dum dum, I know how you act. But I wanna act no. nice. Really? Mm hmm. Good job, love. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. No, it's not a Kumaro. This smell is coming from... You, Yoko. Huh? Whoa, it's true. Kyoko, you reek. A rotten smell stings my eyes, as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. She's crying. I said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. Uh, no, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> are you even taking baths? <laughs> no. You haven't bathed. I can't help it. I can't tie my ki kimono sash by myself. Wah! Hey, Hyoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? Really? I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! Big sister energy. Yeah, I love my hero. She's just so sweet. Yeah. She's a girl's girl. She's like me. <laughs> Yay. I love you, 
my hero, I'll give you a kiss. Uh, hey, Hiyoko, you don't have to hug me. <laughs> she appears to have taken a liking to you. Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. The air suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. I was Beggy, all by myself. I down forever. Down, <laughs> down, Beggy. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm up. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have you're been able uh, to. Uh, um, I'm, up, uh, um. I'm up. <laughs> I'm not down. Dumb, dumb. Why? Where are you? I can't see you. I am happy. Happy, Beggy. Okay, cute. I probably would have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Honey, you have these guys. These guys. Not friends, these guys. <laughs> that is such an, that's that's another veggie line. I hate veggie so, lines so much. They're so stupid as always. Ah. Um, anyway, what happens if we got Naito? though? It seems they are both not here. I noticed that. Oh, now you mention it, you're right. Yeah, I was gonna ask where Nagito. Like, he was the first to speak. I saw for you, he couldn't in earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Bro doesn't want breakfast. Lame. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Who cares about Nagito? He is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just letting you know, uh, I don't know anything. Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. <laughs> um, that's me. That's Bun. Bun, of course, sitting there quietly. I love, and I love Bun. Really? You love Bon? Mm-hmm. You're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? I'm not suspicious. Uh, that's right, I I'm not suspicious. Wow, what's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time. Mm, at the right time? No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. Something like that. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. To be honest, I'm searching too. My value servant has uh, has disappeared. Servant? You know, my mono beasts. One of them just disappeared. Huh? One of the mono beasts disappeared. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much? Perhaps they're boycotting me? Whoa. <laughs> but, Boy that, but that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. That's what you want to say, right? Hmm? Though this is merely the prelude, the climax will occur soon after. What, a bro playing Bayonetta or something? Now I love then. Bayonetta, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, he's talking about climax, like it's Bayonetta or something. Very good, I'm not playing. Yeah, that is good. Now then, let me hear your scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gundam. You should stop playing with a stuffed animal. I'm still being called a stuffed animal. Oh well, looks like you guys don't know anything about my mono beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Aren't you bald already? Veggie is bald. Bald. Hee hee. hee, -hee. Honey, you're a bald. You're bald. Bald. A wise cat no, bought bald. once. Bald and Mommy. bald. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just <laughs> Once said, our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving them forward. Wow. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again he disappeared. Hey, what do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mono beast is appearing. Hmm. The only possibility I can think of is. Um, were well, you in the middle of something? So, I can just come back later. 
then leave. Please help me to leave kindly. Ah, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Do you have anything to do with the disappearing moment piece? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Hello. I'm the one who defeated the Mono Beast. You did? Defeating a monster like that? How the hell does someone like you pull that off? I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I released a breach gate for you all. <laughs> what, did she pull out a stinger missile or something? The gate is open. That means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? Ahem, that's totally right. Now that you all can go to my area, let's all get along and look at one like the other for sure this time. Blah blah! Living together on this island is the most important. We need to find a way to escape. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Nobody wants to live in a swash swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I want to live a life where I can be more average, a life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Alright, if you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. It, it seems that everyone's united on the part of different water and the Ha ha ha, then let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. Alright, let's find a way to leave this island. That is impossible. Huh? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Wow! Oh. Hey, Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if we don't get that close to her. You're right. Uh, Seems everyone's attention has shifted towards exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape this situation. Everyone filed out of the restaurant. Well, honey, do you think Monomi is the same as Monokuma? Um, I mean, she may look similar, but... She seems, uh... Different enough. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues too. Eh, you can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono, Sash. That was. We can do that after we finish exploring the new island. But if I don't wait, I'm gonna take a bath. You'll call me smelly again, you. <laughs> Can I blow me again? Okay, then let's take a light shower first. Yay, we're gonna wash each other! Huh? Wash each other? Hold on, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go in too. No, no, we're both girls, there's no need to be shy. But... Come on, let's go! Yoko pulled Mihira's hand, smiled like a child before a school trip, and headed towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see. Washing each other, huh? Edgy, shut up! <laughs> um... Is there anything I can examine here? Oh, no, I'm going downstairs. Dumb dumb, you literally clicked downstairs, it's what did you expect? Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find any, like, hidden monokumas or something. I don't think so. What about the monitor? Mm. No, hon. Hmm. Dang. I told you something about those uh, toys. Yeah. How they appear in very specific places in certain chapters. Yeah. And that's so why I gotta be careful with them. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that. Mhm. Mm can I? Can I go back in the old building? We need to do our best to make sure there aren't any more incidents. Oh, uh, so yeah, I guess uh, that place is walled off for a while. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, where's the shop at, by the way? Is it in the mart? Um, I mean shop. Well, you know, where I can yeah. buy gifts. 
Yeah. I want to go there, because I promised I'd do that after the first chapter. I think so. I mean... I need to find where the, uh, you know... Uh, there, well, there's this market. Oh, okay, I guess the game is oh. not gonna let me. It's so mean. Well, we can go on a little jog and get a level up, maybe, or two. Maybe the airport will be relevant later, I don't know. What? It, it honestly impresses me. Uh, how, uh, they had a freaking airport. <laughs> yeah, just put an airport on the island, why not? Um, so that I don't... There, here, there, go. So then... She's right, the mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monomi was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? Alright, I guess I should find out. Well, besides the music, it looks nice. <laughs> So this is the new island. The ambience seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, now is not the time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave the island. I need to find it. We got, uh... Oh, Gundam's here. Ha ha ha, you're too late. The seal has already been broken. Seal? Is he talking about the bridge? Whatever, it's not like I really care. Um We got the frickin' we, we got we got the frickin' Park dyer from Burger. Black Ops 2. <laughs> pork Burger. That no, says pork. Pork burger. Yeah. The signboard says diner. Guess I should try going inside. Yeah, it's literally just the diner from Black Ops 2, that's funny. How old is Black Ops again? Uh... 2010, I believe. Huh? Mm. That looks like... So year 2 is older. I'm... Younger. <laughs> Younger, I'm Oh, guess. it's you! I'm trying to eat right now, go away, dumbass! <laughs> Fuyuhiko suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant, why does he know about the new island? I don't know, bro probably just find a burger or something. Uh... There's nothing to examine? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought I was supposed to ignore him, I don't know. Hey, it's well, Fuyuhiko. I shouldn't just ignore him. I shouldn't just ignore him. Well, if I do ignore him, then he won't yell at me. Or maybe, maybe regardless yeah. of what I do, maybe I'll yell at him if I do ignore him. He's like, why are you ignoring me, bitch? <laughs> hey, why are you here? How did you find out we can go to a new island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Hey, that's racist. Don't call me that. I told you to leave me alone while I'm eating. Ugh, an annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? Then I found this place and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy now? So, get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying person. Huh? Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? Uh, I'm not avoiding you bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? Uh, that includes the Kuzu Ryu clan. I, I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it out on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Sh shut up! Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, I, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good can come of it? 
Huh, isn't it obvious? Is this the kind of situation uh, that interacting with others will just show your lifespan, you know? These idiots, Byakia and Terotero, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. Yeah, you're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. If you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. <laughs> yeah, great. Well, I mean, at least we learned a honestly, bit about him. Honestly, he's a good person. He has a point. <laughs> Yep. Because why would you rely on a bunch of strangers? <laughs> and also, another thing... I uh, guess that's true. And also, I like his mindset, how he wants to rely on, on himself and not on the clan. Yeah. Diner signboard spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard on an uninhabited island. Kind of freaky. And, um... Well, um, maybe because this, this freaky island was Chandler habitat Beach. before? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. A scream? Uh, I want, I want to play. That voice just now, wasn't that a bookie? Beach house. A scream came from behind the building. Oh, well, how am I supposed to know? Buki, are you alright? What happened? This is bad. I'm panicking so much that I don't even have the time to space my words. What's going on? Buki, Buki, let me start again. Huh? Look, over there. <laughs> Bro, it's been like 10 minutes. So I glanced over the beach where Buki was pointing her finger. Oh, they're they're uh <laughs> they're having a mono a mono. Yeah. Moda, 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 moda. Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. What the heck is this? <laughs> You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win against me? That's quite absurd! Whoa! Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? Hehehe, <laughs> Sonny! Look at Marnina's ultimate move! Super body blow! That's instant! If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best! Kane, it's your current power! At your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh, <sighs> this isn't a fight. It's a one day beatdown. That's even worse. The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Well, I mean, it's a sport, it's fine. Veggie, veggie is so, it's so veggie because it. Of course, Veggie pulls out the freaking regulations. Is no, ah, violence <laughs> isn't allowed. Like I <laughs> would just like Veggie, shut up, and I will push you to the sea and let you drown because no. I have enough of it. If you're listening to Veggie yap about the system and everything. What violence? Oh, this is not a real I fight. We're you. training. It looked I like will a real save fight. You, so you won't drown. Ah, yes, please. <laughs> huh. I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating the rules at all. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? <laughs> if I got out of the minute. Ah, she's alive! She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. She looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparing would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? 
with a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. Akane, it seems you're the type who learns new actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning, your timing. It's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second-rate if you just rely on instinct. Admit, shut up. If you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I'll fight you once again. Hi, you better not forget what you just said. My zero to win is pretty crazy. I won't give up until I beat ya. Oh, great. These two are besties already. <laughs> yep. With wobbling Probably steps, Akane okay. left the beach. However, she had fought me that fiercely with just her own style. How ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl, she's probably gonna get even stronger. Yeah, you're probably right. What kind of conversation is this? Dumb vegetable, how could you not know? Veggie is so stupid and of course he's not in the topic, typical. Veggie isn't in never on topic, sadly. Sorry. Okay, say something on topic then. Um... Well... I am very happy to see them training. <laughs> Is that on topic? That mean what? What? Why are you happy? Well, to see them training? I don't know. It's just a nice sense of progression. Okay, key. Yeah, it's not on topic. You're very good. Happy. Yay! Mm. Thank you, hon. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. And why are you fighting stronger yet? That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? Uh, it's a very smart conclusion, I can tell you that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you too. Basics are the foundation of for everything. No, I get that, but... Training that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. Hmm. Let's have a look around the beach and find a hidden Monokuma. Hi. 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 Ooh. Obtained a hidden Monokuma. Moony. I got so many much Moony. Dum dum. Oh, what's up, Pumpkin? I hate how you say that. What? So much Moony? I hate it. What's wrong? You loved it like uh, like a week ago. No, I never liked it. Dumb dog, go inside this stupid blue thing. What are you doing? I'm just making sure there's not a monokuma beside behind the house, you know? As you know, they're not everywhere. <laughs> okay. Beach house. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. Looks pretty luxurious. Well, remember, it's like one per island at least minimum i guess it's a celebrity style beach house you hear that one per one per island minimum fun hey doesn't this feel awesome like a celebrity's pet or something the shower is out of order but the ambience is nice and the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks huh <laughs> plus the beach outside feels so private it's awesome compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris this place is completely different we're the only ones on the island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey, don't shatter my dreams like that. More importantly, why don't we splash around this private beach? Awesome, totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach really is the best. Uh, he's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, guess that's one of his good qualities. Uh, I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! Whoa, it's here! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Love affair. Changing in the bee house is prohibited. It would be bad and shameful if you go out and pick a cruise. Yeah, you don't want to commit um, indecent exposure. <laughs> I mean, indecent exposure? Where did you that come from now? <laughs> Honey? What? Where did that come from? Well, you know, you know what that means, right? Yeah, but w w why, why so random, huh? It's not random, it's on topic. Yes, it is random. 
Well, I mean, if you if you changed in here, wouldn't that count as a decent exposure? <laughs> no. No. Why would this? Why would this? Uh, I don't know. You stupid. Yes. He literally said there are freaking washrooms. Oh, well, then go change in the washroom then. And what? Why would it be indecent exposure? Well, just don't do it out in the open. That's all. But you know what we'll do is it out in the open. Are you stupid? Okay, just making sure. <laughs> what? What are you gonna do is? No. Ah, Veggie will. No. Okay, Veggie will. Yes, he will. Ah, Guys, so you mean changing will. here isn't allowed. Not going to the beach itself. Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. <laughs> never gonna let her down and desert her. Shut up, Veggie. You're not funny. You might let her down, though. Anyway, breaking rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. What studies? <laughs> really, what? my question. <laughs> Why does he have a gun? <laughs> I like the rule. <laughs> what the fuck? Where? Where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them, no questions asked. Yeah, he's cute. Uh, oh, almost did my Monaco voice. <laughs> You. Uh, I heard you, what are you holding? <laughs> a machine gun, obviously. Real breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Well, then how come you didn't shoot any of the other ones in the previous game? It's common because sense honey. where? It's not like we're under a military honey. dictatorship. Honey, what? What, honey, he had guns to glue to the ceiling. Why was he carrying around the freaking gun? Ah, uh, yeah, you know, that makes more sense. I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. Well, I don't know. Go get some targets or something. Control yourself. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it, no matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules. Wow. Um, as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Wow, that was totally bizarre adventure. Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Uh, any other? F oh my god, there's a lot of shit to examine. Uh, like the refrigerator. If we can get some drinks. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. Why are you putting wa you Why are you putting coffee in the fridge? Why not? Well, it's it's, it's, it's gonna coffee. get if it's iced coffee, then sure. Most of these drinks have colored dyes, so it might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Oh, yes, the bench. The best thing to examine. No, not the fridge again. Veggie. 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 Yeah, I meant to examine the bench. There's a fancy looking bench. It looks like something you'd see at a resort. See, that was worth it. What about the closet? Looks like this is the closet. Uh, the inside is. looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk in closet. There's surfboards range on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, the flat. Can I examine the flowers? Nope. No. The, the shower room. Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the on the Do door. The what? What does it say? The, the wa water services is still retired. Something like that. Judging from the that, illustration, it, it looks says. like it's being repaired under construction or something like Honey, that. That's what it says. I literally read this. Thank you, wifey. Roadside You're door. Welcome. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. Ah, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagito at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. Guess I should ask him about that. Okay. Which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Oh, uh, what? Well, it's about Nagito. Ugh. I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. So, let's just end all that annoying talk right here. That's it. All he done. Has a, he has a very long tongue. Haven't you noticed? Yeah, he's, uh. He's, he's, uh. He's got. He's gonna try. He's gonna try to compete with, uh, Genocide Jack, I guess. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> He ended the conversation very forcibly, just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. Can I talk to him again? 
like I said, no more annoying talk. The end. We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. Oh, okay. Um... What about... This door? This door leads to the beach. I mean, I'm assuming we did everything in there? Yeah, that's what we did. Do you two have anything new to say? No, hon. No? Okay. No. Alright, well, guess we're done here. And there's a funny camera there. Veggie Star! That's not very funny. Why not? Pumpkin. Honey, what's about the back door? Can we go in there? I don't know. Tell me. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you, hon. Isn't this gonna take me back in here, though? <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Um, let me go to the road then. Hit the road, Aww. as they say. Oops. Well, at least we know now, wifey. Oops. Oops. Now we can go to the diner again. Shut up, with. Mwah. Well. Can I examine the birds? Honey, yeah. why is there a random bird standing? I want to examine the bird, why not? So rude. Why, what, what do you want to know about the freaking pigeons? I don't I want to know, like, you know, why they're here. Yo, Look at this. Yo, we can go to the pharmacy. Me. Let's go. I can finally get my prescriptions. <laughs> of course, uh, Mekon is at the pharmacy. <laughs> What's with you? Sorry, I got so excited. I started shouting. I knew I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? Looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. Well, maybe nobody needs medicine right now. I don't know. Um, we the all need medical supplies. Pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. Hey, <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. Sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should probably decline. No, it's good for you. You should get a vaccine or something on this island. And why can't I examine the medicine? Oh, no, I can. Oh, there you go. These shelves are crammed with lots of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look more potent. I mean, a potent. Can you tell me about the medicine on the wall? I mean, a potent. Potent. What does it mean? Uh, str like stronger. Thank you, you slowpoke. Oh, you're welcome, pumpkin. <laughs> Would you like a shot already? Shot? No, seriously, I'm fine. I have enough energy. Okay, well, I guess we're done. Veggie's running away from me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I wouldn't run away. Very cute. Yay. Library. Oh, that's my spot. Yay. It's my, num my spot number two. I see Monokuma up there. You can't fool me. Wow, that's Where? Gonna, uh, well, the HUD is kind of covering him, but I saw him. Wow, Where? that's in the top right. Where? Where? The HUD is covering him. I'll show you later. What that's an mean, impressive Pop? amount of books. Probably a what library. Mean, the HUD. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. See, look, he's up there. What is he doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Yay! More moon me for veggie. You're funny. Aw, oh, thank you, honey. Hey, look at this look at this Monokuma bust. Oh There's yeah. A bronze <laughs> statue of Monokuma. Looks so arrogant. What lame taste. Honey. What? Honey? Yeah? You said lame taste? Mm-hmm. Veggie speak for herself. The bronze statue of Monami, I mean Usami before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. 
in this? What about this one? Oh, okay. Um... What about the... What about the archives? The books on this shelf, what language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. Hey, honey. Oh, uh, honey. Where do we go upstairs, you know? Where are the stairs? <laughs> Where are the stairs? Hey, where are the stairs, hon? Am I gonna have to do a funny ninja jump to get up there or something? I mean ninja jump? <laughs> you know, am I gonna have to do a triangle jump to get up there? What is, what is that? It's where you, uh... You jump on the wall, and then you bounce off the wall to get back up. <laughs> dum Dum, can you do that? You're so slow on the ball. Hey, I'll try. Bet you, you won't. You will probably slip and fall. Oh, sad baby. Why are you sad? Why are you sad? Honey. You... Because I can't triangle jump. Very good. Yeah, so sad baby. Baby is dumb. Oh, he can't do me. anything. Yeah. Am I a little surprised? I never expected to find such a splendid facility. You arrive at even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? That is very true, Ron. Just expected no one is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ta-da! Mommy's here! I'm reading a book! Ah, since you've come here, would you like me to explain to this library to you? I see. It's clear from your face on my instance. Since I want more energy than usual, I think I'm empty now. And what about your explanation? Well, you're all basically seated, right? I was thinking you needed a place for you where you can do homework. So, I prepared this library. Prepared? You? Haha, <laughs> everyone can get along as to each other. It's as soon as you do to study. Don't act like a teacher. I am a teacher. You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Real identity? No, oh, that's silly. Goodbye! Oh, running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more sus. I cannot believe that she is the one who prepares this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. According to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and safe for weeks at a time. These are all probably things to do that they don't need. Hold oh, on, did you say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? Some lore? Hell yeah. What language is this? I have no clue. Hmm, I bet you can't read English. Then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? Mm-hmm. I am fluent in 30 different languages. See, uh, she's like me. I'm fluent <laughs> in different languages. Very good, honey. Yeah. It's a requirement for members of the royal mom family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Jammery Walk Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly why Byakia told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. Kinda giving me uh, Isle Delfino vibes, honestly. <laughs> why? Well, because, you know, Isle Delfino is like surrounded by a bunch of different islands, too. Well, not really. You're on the main island, you know? Well, Even though it's shaped like a dolphin? <laughs> yeah, but like, if you look at the opening cutscene, there's like a bunch of different islands. Like, there's an island shaped like a crab. 
and like a few other islands. Oh, tell me, why is that relevant if you never visit them? I don't know, but maybe Nintendo should make a game about that crab island. You, I'd love you, to go there. Did you, did you really think they're gonna return to Peak? I don't think so. Probably not. Exactly. It was just sad because Sunshine is the best game as well. Yeah. Especially 3D World. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, just a shame that Sunshine was a rushed game. How was it rushed? Um, like they only spent like a year developing it or something, I heard. There's no way they've spent one year doing that. Come on. Uh, I, that's just what I heard. Apparently they... They were... Me trying to meet a deadline or something for the game so that's why it ended up being kind of buggy and unfinished mm. I'm sad it's just so good anyway mm. yeah especially because sunshine such a vibe Reggie you don't even get it you're stupid what do you mean I don't get it you don't get why why someone can love this game so much Oh, I want to hear Honey's opinion. I mean Honey's opinion. I want to hear what Honey thinks. What do you mean? You already know I love Sunshine because I I watched it and everything when I was younger, and the disorder shine is iconic yeah, as yeah. always. <laughs> and it was also the first time Bowser Jr. had a real appearance, oh, so it right felt that. different. And um, I also DIY'd Bowser Jr.'s mask. Yay. But that was a few years ago. I'm still proud of that. It turned out really good. Good job, Pumpkin. Yeah, I do. Well, now I understand better. I mean, you understand better. I understand better why you like it so much. Because it's beach themed. And I love beaches. <laughs> That's one. Number two is different because uh, it's like a vacation, mm -hmm. and none of the games really have this kind of theme of oh vacation. True. So it's unique. Three, I love how the story. I also love the you know mechanics of that game. Mm -hmm. Four, and it has you know a specific charm to it. You know. Well, that's true. And bonus, Disorder Shine. <laughs> of course, Disorder Shine gives us separate of two. Oh, yes, Yeah. Now, well, now, so wanna... now it kind of makes me wish there was a, another Mario game with like a very specific theme to it. Yeah, because uh, honestly, my favorite games always are the specific themes. Like, Dior. It's also very spe special. Yeah. Like you don't, you can't name a game, a different game that's similar to Dior. Like Dior is just that iconic. Like everyone knows Dior. Yeah, I, I love the vibe. I loved the vibe of the first game because you're just like trapped in this like very like weird school, and you have no yeah. way of getting outside. Like I feel like I feel like this game. By being at like a lighthearted beach, it kind of loses some of that like creepy vibe that the first In game my had. Opinion, is a, a someone who thinks this is the best game because it's my favorite game. It's not about the quote unquote like oh vibe of being trapped because that's isolation basically. Mm -hmm. This one has good characters in comparison. Like in DR one, I keep forgetting names, but here in DR two, I can't, I can't forget those things. Like they're more iconic and outstanding, the characters. So I mean, so, if you if you like this game more because of the more like recognizable characters, then yeah, that's a very valid reason. And also, it's more creepy. Like it's creepy that there are freaking robot, and there's it's creepy how they're. Actually, I can't say why it's creepy because it's spoilers. I mean, but you already know. I guess when I really Maybe. think about it, um, the fact that you're just on like a bunch of abandoned islands is kind of creepy in its own way. Well, yeah, but also the fact you've noticed that Biakia is here. 
is kind of suspicious, but I can't tell you anything well, yeah. about this more. And also the fact that Byakuya was, or not Byakuya, uh, Nagito was going kind of crazy as well in the last trial. Oh well, honey. What? It, this game and the next game has those kind of crazy psychopaths, it's normal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's like the antagonist of the game, but yeah, I antagonist, that's fine. And those are always the best characters too. They're always very well written. Well, good. That's why many people love Nagito, because he's just like that. That's probably why people like Adachi so much. <laughs> but, hmm... I am. Uh... <laughs> But, oh uh, yeah. Like, I like him, but, yeah. My, my image on him kind of, is kind of ruined because of <laughs> the fan base. Oh no. Yeah. Akira is mine. <laughs> <laughs> True, he is mine. <laughs> no, Veggie is mine though. Really? Are yours. I claimed Veggie, and I only need Veggie, and um, that's it. I claimed a Veggie. Oh, how else am I supposed to claim you, huh? Um, Snuggles. Snuggles. What else do you want to love? Mm, I'm good. Okay. Mwah. Mwah. The other islands with the most as resorts, well, the Central Island house houses are Large administrative building. Huh? That is strange. I mean, the Central Island of Jabberwook Island? There's no sign Funny. of any buildings at all. The only things there were the Monokuma Rock in the park. I mean, what about the hostels or hotels? Uh -huh. That's a building, right? Yep. Also, according to the, the sky book, it says that there is a bronze statue in the, in the lobby of the building which symbolizes the island. Mm, isn't that... Are you talking about the bronze statue that turned into the mono beasts? That statue is in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. That's, that is not all. There's another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Ah. Huh? While some people want to bridges, Critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean then? What are we using to move between islands? Hmm. There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island like Palm Jumeria. Palm Jumeria? Artificial island? Palm Jumeria is a huge artificial island and tourist sites located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island like, might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. But especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size would, could be completely artificial. This island must be all too it contradicts everything about the island's current situation. My, my, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here. However, these guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? Yeah, those guys. The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm, it's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. What are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Wow! Hey, hold on a second. 
Before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. Could it be? Is all this completely artificial? There's no way that is true. <laughs> I always find it so funny how, like, we're just having a conversation and then Monokuma just says, like, Hey, bitch, what's up? I'm here to tell you a few things. Bye. <laughs> hey, he just lore drops something. I love it when he does him. that. There's no way. That guidebook, it's probably just old. You are right. That's right. That's obvious what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. I mean, sure, he did do that a lot in the first game. Damn it, there's no way I'll fall yeah. for that. To be honest, yeah. He likes making people worry for no reason. This is a huge library, but there are no other human beings to be found here at all. Just as I thought, it might be safe to assume that this island is also un uninhabited. Oh, well, that's, that's all you have to say? Dum Dum, you don't have to click her twice to check. Well, I'm just making sure she has nothing new to say. No. Uh, that's doesn't it. Doesn't look like there's that's anything it. else. Okay. That's it. Wait, before I, I should look around. Oh, there's something I missed apparently. Really? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, the back part of the bookshelf in the back. Wow, that's a lot of books. A lot of them have really fancy covers. They might be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me, you can't even read them. They're basically ornaments. Haha, uh -huh, veggie countries. What else is there to look at? This statue? No. What else is there to look at? Not the not the monitor, obviously. I examined everything. Destroyed statue. That bookshelf. No, that's the one yeah, I examined I did. already. Did. And I guess I could look at the. Wait, what? Hmm, what, what? Why did it do that one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what languages are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. Okay, now I can progress. Hmm, such an interesting description. Reggie. What are you Stop reading? Off. Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of Occult Magazine. It breaks the lid of underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. That's quite a surprise. It's not what I read it often. I'm just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. Please, this writer has a very good taste. Oh, like honey. Yeah, thank you. Hey. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Oh, oh, I was just talking about her not too long ago. Yep. <laughs> hmm, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about her before. Genocide Jack is a knowledge for Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. Yeah, and she's also got a mean pair of scissors. She is very popular among girls and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Yeah, and also having multiple personalities. Yep, she's bipolar. Mm hmm. Apparently, she is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Ah, uh, this one in part is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice, oh no. Sparkling justice is worse. Oh no. It's a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I should explain this to you just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls himself the ally of justice. Wearing a white variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonya, calm down. Thanks to the masks, 
cartoon justice works, nobody knows their real age or gender. Hmm, I wonder who that'll turn out to be. <laughs> Why you assume it's here, huh? Hmm, I guess I'll find out. After all, it is essential that the serial killers will be mysterious, but an expert, yes? Also, I just realized what the- I also just realized the name of this song. <laughs> It says a hundred mile junk food dash. That's a that's yeah. a that's a wild name. <laughs> Relatable. Hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but <gasps> eavesdropping? How could you? Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? <laughs> I haven't done any talking. Please hold on! It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers, your value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence! Huh? I am those intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a tall bad boy type of situation? Lara is clearly different from a princess who was obsessed with serial killers. It's true though. I'm 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 also fascinated with that. I agree with her. Hmm. Ah, uh, how do you mean? Wifey's here. <laughs> oh, it's you, wifey. What happened? <laughs> Don't tell me. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hi, Hi Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but. Can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? Oh hell yeah, there's ancient ruins here. I love I love ruins so that much, you know that? Yeah, I can tell. Do you, you. like them? Yeah. Why me? I mean I mean I mean you went to Greece, so you probably got to see so, some. I love Greece. Good. It was my dream to go to Greece. And I'm so happy I did. Yeah. Best memories, huh? You can, right? Right away. Okay, hurry up. Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. Tell me. Then I guess I should me, head I over to the ancient though? room. Uh, you're not. Then why are you saying I'm pushy? Um, you're. you're oh, what uh, the hell? Wow, look at those ruins. Everyone's here. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. It seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. <laughs> How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? People went to ruins for schools back in the day? School? I mean, it's obvious. Ah, you mention it. I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Oh, whoosh. Honey? Wipey? You recognize that blue thing? Oh, yeah, there might be a resemblance. Hope's Peaks Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? You found something, right, Chucky? What did you find? I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there just kept bugging me, so I finally came. Did you maybe find a way to get off this island? Nope, nothing like that. Ah, then who cares? I should have played in the bathroom with my hero more. Then what in the world did you find? Uh, Wifey found something. I don't know what it is. Oh, but I guess we should talk to everybody, right? I've talked to everyone, but nobody has seen Nagito. However, Kazuichi and Nakamura see a puzzle of discussing. What are they hiding? Seems pretty sus to me. It is. It just occurred to me, but have you seen Nagito anywhere? No, I haven't seen him. I see. Jeez, this goes to four for you too. But you boys should really get a hold of yourself. 
Hmm, yeah, you don't say. Man, what the heck? I want to play with Matthew up in bath some more. <laughs> that's the only thing that's on her mind. Oh, I didn't mean to examine the ancient ruin. Honey! Honey wants to talk to ancient ruin. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk to ancient ruin. That's a pretty cool dude. I took the time to come all the way here. If it's a waste of my time, I'll fucking cut you. Wait, what? Hey, after we finish exploring these ruins, let's invite Miss Sonia and have some fun splashing around at the private beach. Oops, my bad. Everyone's invited, right? Right? Seriously, this guy, he's just so carefree. A new land is opened. However, it does not mean we will find salvation here. Grief is all that awaits us, but that would be quite entertaining. So he's saying he didn't find anything useful on this island, is that it? Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause Nakamura sure is strong. I'm definitely gonna win before I get out of here. She at least make an effort to help us find a way out of here. I did not find anything at the beach that could help us escape. I hope we find something here. I tried looking around the library, but I could not find a way to escape. However, I was able to read the newest issue of an occult magazine. That is quite a discovery. Of course you'd be happy about that. Uh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing so suddenly? I, I was so excited about this drugstore that I completely forgot to find a way off this island. So like she was only thinking about giving people shots. Then there weren't any clues at the drugstore? Well, there was lots of medicine <laughs> and lots of syringes and needles. So, shots then. Uh, I'm sorry. Jackie was investigating this place really thoroughly. Is she a ruin enthusiast? I am. I am. Mm, maybe. Let's find out. I am, though. Hey, wifey, what'd you find? It's not a way off this island. Does it have anything to do with this silent secret? Hmm. About that, I don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. I understand that, but... Okay. Look, that door over there. Door? Yeah, it's my favorite character, Ancient Ruin. It looks yep. like, um... You know what it looks like? Kinda looks like, the um... The same hat from, from the first game? Oh, well you know what, that's a good point. I was gonna make a Fallout joke, but... Uh, yeah, that works too. Are you too. shut up? No one thought it was funny jokes because you did not even play Fallout because you have bad taste in it. Wa I watched my dad play it though. No one cares. Mm. No one. It's hard to make out from I... all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? I've also watched people play several times Fallout, so what's your point? Oh, great. And I know that one is not a game for you because it's too damn hard for you. Really? Yes, really, dumbass. What about baby mode? No. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, what happened? Love you. Love you too. Hey. What if we work together? Then maybe. Hmm? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like that. That. That's the door to the room. So, what's wrong with this door? Can we go inside? Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of this dust and clearing off some of these root things of the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand why, what I mean by unnatural. I don't really understand, but guess we should try what she says. You're right. As Chucky said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... 
my epic stance. What yeah. is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in ancient ruin. Like a door from a sci-fi movie, don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. And what is the symbol on the door? Mm, looks like it's Japanese. Oh wait, wrong voice. <laughs> mm, looks Honey. like it's Japanese. Ah, you're totally right. Um, I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai on future. Oh that's, yeah, that's a cool word. I mean, future. Oh, future. Team Future. I'm on team future. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Team Honey, honey, Splatoon 3 reference in your mm, Yes, you're right, Whitey. Hey, honey, honey, I'm uh, gonna be like your one, that one guy. I wanna mention that name, you know who? Mm, which Everything guy? Everything is an SPL 3 reference. <laughs> <laughs> you get the reference, right, hon? Yeah, I get the reference. Also, I'm going to um, take a little drink break, so give me a sec. Well, I'm also drinking. <laughs> All good. Hmm. As my so I talk. I need to talk to my so my throat got dry. <laughs> my voice is already breaking. Oh, uh, I didn't even talk much, or uh, maybe I did. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, that's some good tea. So, hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? I do. More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Oh, right. That must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type in the password. I to hold on. Hi, I'm Mighty. So what's next, huh? It's obviously impossible to do this password without any hint. Yeah, or just call a hacker, maybe. Uh, and he's saying I know a person can open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up. If we just type whatever, we might get it, right? Yeah, after 500 tries. <laughs> yeah. No, 500,000 tries. Damn, that's almost as many times as Veggie played Origami King. Oh my goodness, not even halfway. <laughs> not even halfway. Oh wow. Actually, no, one fourth. Okay. Give me Oki. That's not Oki that if you play so much origami. Okay, I'm sorry. Exactly, I'm so sorry. Ah. I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Well, what do you mean by dangerous? <laughs> um, is are they stupid? That's the first thing I've noticed. Is the freaking gun? How, why are they so dumb? So how do they not notice the gun? So Cause that thing next to the panel doesn't even look like a gun. That, that's totally a gun. Gun? Huh? That's a gun? Oh my god. That does <laughs> That sounds like a me and Bon Bon and Veggie moment. <laughs> like, Bon Bon be like, oh my goodness. First thing, gun. Veggie, what? That's a gun? <laughs> Where? That sounds like us. Yeah, true. If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Yeah, unfortunately it's not the medicine kind of shot. Damn it! It can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. Hehehe, <laughs> he's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up, you do it then! That's true. The building that looks like an ancient ruin. The door that looks like it's from a sci-fi thing. It's definitely unnatural. This is probably an important place. Important place, huh? Problem is, how is it important? Boon um... me. 
Wow, hey! Um... We're both quiet. You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no... I have no idea though. I, I don't know either. Oh no, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragment. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who cover the door with dust, right? Oh, this is a right part. You guys are hiring on purpose, right? Hey, don't talk like we're equals, trashy bitch. Yeah, I'm sorry. So you're sorry, bitch. I just said it as this so I'm sorry. Is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason this island's uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter, and there might be natives inside. See, shelter, it really is a Fallout reference. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. Hmm, several possibilities crossed my mind. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? What are saying? For instance, even though Monomi and I can go and come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Huh? You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me, and? Nope! Hey, keep your tongue in your mouth! Yeah. Everybody can have a super sun meteorol rush like that. There, now that I've shut up my sister with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist. Oh, Pegasus? Does he watch that YouTuber too? No. <laughs> so. oh. This is the mystery of Jabberwock Island, a mystery that even Monami and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve the mystery. Hey, that seems easy enough. All I gotta do is remember what that black and white tanuki said before. <laughs> hey, why are there 16 of you? I'm in a flashback, guys. Look how cool I am. There's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly tanuki said before. <laughs> Calling me ugly and a tanuki? Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, they probably know how to open that door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to connect to the outside world beyond that door. Or uh, maybe whoever's controlling my girl and me is hiding there. Hmm, I wonder where we've heard that before. <laughs> but, do you really think there's a traitor among us? Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Her epic confess. There isn't. There's no treasure anywhere. Monokuma, what about you? You're the only one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, just... Have you guys ever heard of an organization called World Ender? <laughs> World Ender? Why does that sound... That sounds like a Minecraft thing, though. I'm the one asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. I understand why you just want to ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students, no way elementary school students could come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So, what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world. Yeah, look at this! This looks like Crisis City! That's not an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? You mean... They're a terrorist organization? Yeah! Terrorist, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes! Yeah, I destroyed a whole city, I'm such a hero! 
In a sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. So, so what? Those are things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're going when I say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. The world ender? Are you saying that you and Monomi are also members of that organization? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island, the world enders behind it all! Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. He just another made of story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can also spell I disbelief. Something that's as ridiculous as a world ender. There's no way that organization or that the traitor exists. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want, while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. I love, I love his saying, <laughs> puff cigar at your lifeless body, I'm gonna quote that. <laughs> Damn, bro has no chill. My, my, I was kind enough to keep you guys informed, are you calling me a liar? Uh, you keep acting like this, I'll keep you, if you act like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The world in the organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members hiding among you guys. Among us. That's why you guys gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey, you better stop. Shut up, Monomi. Big brother to find trash like you needs to be punished. Wow. Oh, oh, oh my ears. They're gonna come. Come off. Monokuma and Monomi departed from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? Is there anyone... Is there anybody who understood what he was talking about? Not a clue. Yawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's me right now. Yidi Han. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Just, just call it a day. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and de bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. Funny music box. Look at how many Monokumas I have. Yeah, good job, Buff. I went from one to four in the span of a few chapters. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, world ender, Monokuma statues. I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't, fe I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. <laughs> I sleep. I'm With asleep. Good night. Aw, uh, good nighty. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. And have another dream, cause dreams are cool! My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, Honey. and seasoned trout eggs. Honey, Monokuma doesn't like shrimp. I'm a cry. Mid, you got a ten after. <laughs> How dare he not like shrimp. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I'll never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Make sure you guys be careful too! Go to bed! Bing dong, bing dong! Hello dumbasses, I'm drinking more punch on the sea! Host Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day where I just sit on my ass and drink all day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. And die! Because dying's cool! Boring already, huh? 
Feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. Yeah, maybe it's because you closed your eyes, went to a theater, and then boom, you're awake. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry. I should just go to a restaurant and eat something. That's the second time you mentioned you're hungry, bro. Alright, well, oh. let's check on our oh, pet. Like yeah, like veggie. Bubba veggie. Alright, let's make a save. We can probably uh, go for like another half hour. Oh yeah, go to the shower. Oh, you're gonna, gonna set the timer right now? Yep. For half an hour? Mm. Oh. What's wrong? Come on, you. Come on, you. Oh, what's up, pumpkin? I wanna sleep with you. Oh, you wanna sleep with the veggie? Mm hmm. Hi, Gundam. Do not speak to me, human. What the hell? The wind is running amok today. It's carrying the lost souls of Byakia and Teru Teru. Are they destined to be cradled against the Heavenly Mother's bosom, or to burn in the fires of Gehenna? Perhaps you should pray for them, human child. It's possible that prayer might save their souls. <laughs> now then, I shall take my leave. That guy is the same as usual. Yeah, let me just leave uh, real quick. Just kidding. I'm a... Um, I'm a... I'm a what? Um... Act normally. Okay. Uh, I feel... I have such nostalgia for you. Japanese dishes my servant used to prepare. Her servant must have been annoyed to be forced to cook stuff like that. Why? Why? I don't know. However, an army marches with his stomachs. That being said, let us have breakfast. Good morning! Do you know how many owls I used? Uh, too many. Wow, there. Your cool demon lord gives me the shivers. But, you should talk about it more, you know? Hit me with your word arrows. Thinking about Bianca made me feel really sad, so I'm trying super hard to stay up the upbeat. About Bianca? That's right, he may have had piggy fingers, but he was really totally awesome. It's not too easy to keep our promise till the very end, but I think it's actually really, really hard. You're right, especially in this kind of situation. But to actually die like that... If only he didn't have piggy fingers, damn, that's so disappointing. And then I'm off to the restaurant. Adieu. She didn't have to say that last bit. Why? What's wrong with the last bit? Good morning, Akamaru. Ugh! What is it, Hajime? Do you need to talk to me about something? What's wrong? Why are you so surprised about? Uh, no need to worry. I'll head to the restaurant first. Ha <laughs> Is it just my imagination, or does he seem weirder than usual? Nah, he's always been weird, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I got a level up for examining the door. <laughs> wow, everybody's here. You're not going to the restaurant, Mahiru? Ooh. Uh, sorry, I was just thinking about the territory. Oh good, I thought you were traumatized by having to shower with, uh, you know, what's her name? I keep forgetting her Kyoko. name. Kyoko. Kyoko. There you go, I almost remembered. I know Malakuma said to her his motive was boring. But that wasn't boring at all. Yeah, he's the boring one. I mean, it's your mom. She's like your most important family member, you know? Yeah, I agree. Of course, it doesn't mean I can accept what Terra Terra did either. But, but still, if my family... I'm sorry, it's nothing. 
Even though I think what Territory did was a stupid, was stupid, it it be bad if I allows my request to influence me to just fight. I'm never gonna follow my request others. Yo, hi to me. Yeah, good morning. Man, I'm starving. Let's hurry the hell up and get some food. It's not that the restaurant has bad food, but compared to Territory's food, it's pretty so-so. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be suffering now since he's dead. Yep. He should have taught her something or left some recipes. Yeah. Those party dishes, they are seriously so good. It was like I could eat them as much as I wanted. I wanted to keep eating his food. I know. Yeah, grieving like this isn't like me. I'm probably acting strange because I'm so hungry. Alright, all I gotta do is eat. And the most important person to talk to. Hi, wifey. Hi, hubby. Hey. Ah, good morning. You're playing video games again this morning? It's like whenever you find a time, you always come here, don't you, Jackie? You think so? I know you like video games, but if you don't get out in the sun more, you'll get sick. I know, it's important to get to know them. The other is better too. Hmm. So let's play games outside. I'm sure they have stuff like jump rope and bamboo culture in the supermarket. Jump rope? Bamboo culture? Are those games too? I don't get it. Then you can play with us after breakfast. Good deeds should be done quickly, as they say. Are you saying I have to join you too? What's with that tone? <laughs> if you don't want to come, you don't have to. Oh, I love her sassy tone. Seriously, she's so bossy towards guys. Jump rope, bamboo copter. The world is still overflowing with strange things. Oh, I don't see so any monocles here. Her. I still haven't heard of bamboo copter. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you came at the right time. What do you think, Hajime? What do I think about what? Ugh, isn't it obvious? That stuff you said about a traitor and world ender. I'm asking if you know anything about it. After one night's sleep, there's no way I'd suddenly find out anything. Well, that's obvious. The thing goes for me, too. I didn't get enough sleep last night because of that baffling nonsense. Well, I wonder if it's really true that there's a traitor among us. No need to worry. You don't have to worry about the traitor at all. However, if I chance a worst case scenario... Impossible! Even in a worst case scenario, you don't have to worry about the traitor. What do you mean? You're being awfully certain about this. Of course. In fact, that so-called traitor's tied up at the moment and can't move at all. Huh? The top, you say? Um, could you be referring to Nagito, whom we have not seen since yesterday? Who else could it be? Nagito's the traitor! What about the other part, where you said he was tied up and can't move? Uh, uh, oh crap! Oh my god. Hey, Kazuichi, what should we do? Dumbass, don't rope me into this. They'll find that we work together to. Aw, oh, crap! You guys are both idiots. <laughs> hey, what does this mean? Well, you know, there's no way we can let him run around free. I mean, he tried to put us all in danger, you know? Terra Terra committed a murder because that guy tempted him, right? So that makes him a killer, too. It's necessary to deal with him in an appropriate way. They have a point, though. Yep. No. So, that's why I love him tied up. However, that cannot be helped if he is by dangerous. How should I put this? Is he's a little creepy. 
Oh, nobody wants to abide with him. He's not a little creepy. He's creepy to the max. His creepiness is so high he could sell tickets to see lit. Hmm, that's a truly nice line. Every fiber of my being agrees with you. That's right. There's no existence more troublesome than that of an incomprehensible human. What they like and what they hate, what makes them happy, what makes them angry. It's normal for all beings to have standards rooted in experience so they can predict their opponent's actions. But at times like this, those standards do not work on certain opponents. Those are the most fearsome opponents of all. Establishing a relationship with such a human is impossible. He, he is the number one yapper, I swear. <laughs> right, like, half of those are his freaking monologue that just... I like, okay, sure, he has, has a point, but like, what? This is Veggie 2.0. Yeah, Veggie, Veggie, Veggie 2.0. Veggie talks too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should be careful. He's teetering on the edge of himself. Anyway. Why did you do tie up Nagito? The dining hall in the old hotel building. Oh yeah, hey, that's why you oh hey, go I was about to go there. Yep. That's where Biakia got killed. Wait, that's not the wrong. That's not the right tone. That's hey, that's where Biakia got killed. Goofia, don't be asking that question. <laughs> he needs to reflect on what he did at that place. So you say it's better to keep up as troublesome alley before they turn into an enemy. Ugh, he's obviously alive. I only knocked him out so we could tie him up. What? <laughs> we knocked him out? <laughs> then what shall we do with Nagito at this point? Let's hear everyone's opinion. Mm, it's not safe to let him walk around freely. There's no telling what he'll end up doing next. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna end up like Nemesis or something from Resident Evil 3. What was that supposed to mean? Uh, basically, there's this guy, there's like this big demon guy who chases you throughout the entire game, and you never know when he's gonna pop up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's what no. Nagito's reminding me of. Oh no. Yeah, oh no. I hate this out of that. I hate being faced. You know that, right? I know. But that's the whole game. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Resident Evil then. Thank uh, you for well, letting it, me it, know it's, that. it's just Resident Evil 3. You, you're better off well, playing I Resident Evil 4 instead. That one's iconic. Shut up. What I'm do you mean? Mid game, sorry. Well, it's, the game is not mid, but I'm, I'm not gonna play something that will make me feel scared all the time 24 well, 7. What if, I, what if I play it with you then? No! I'm gonna be even more scared because you suck at every game. Oh, okay. What if you play it then? You don't. What? You, you don't suck. You, I can make you play it. No, I'm not gonna play. I'm scared of being chased. I'm gonna cry. Oh, poor Bun Bun, Pat Pat. I literally said I'm very scared of being chased. But you don't get. Why? You don't. You don't get chased in RE4. I don't care. I'm still scared. Mm, poor Bun Bun. You suck. Pat Pat, you're very good. Oh, but, but the four also have scary stuff, don't we? Mm hmm. Like what? Like what? Um. I mean, RE4 is more, like, action based than, like, horror based. So, what's the scary stuff? Um. I mean, there's a, uh, there's a demon that comes out of a freezer at one point. And? And, uh, you have to, like, use, like, night vision goggles to find his weak spot and, like, shoot at him. And? Um, there's also, one of the parts I remember the most is the part where you're on, like, a, you're on, like, a minecart and, like, a bunch of, like, uh, zombies drop on you, and you gotta shoot them off. Ew, disgusting. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. Disgusting game. Okay, pat pat. 
No, Papa, you suck at everything. You're not the one to talk. Sorry. Probably took you like 200 hours to do this. Mama. No, Mama. Gotta hang over yourself. He's also the most likely person to be the traitor. So isn't it okay if we just keep him tied up for a while? This chick, she's still eating a lot. That's what you're focused on? Yep. If so, it seems it would be better to watch him for a while. But it would be bad if we don't let him eat or drink. He might end up dying for real. I know that already. Please, I didn't expect you to would do something like that. Yeah, no wonder we haven't seen him all episode. I wish you'd treat it more like an achievement. I got a 0.46% rare achievement. Tee hee, and I thought that tiny boy was up to something again. Who are you calling tiny boy? Why, you're here? It figures. You guys are messed up. Is that what you guys do? If you don't like your buddy, you corner them? Ugh. Look at you sheep, acting all righteous. What did you say? We didn't do anything wrong. How did the shitty sheep all bleed at me? It looks like there's one more bastard who needs to get tied up. Try it if you dare, you bastard. You can threaten me, but I'm not scared. You're just a pipsqueak without the Kuzurio clan backing you up. What did you say? Enough. Knock it off, you two. You bastards. I'll make sure you regret that later. What the heck? He's just a whiny loser. I guess it was she. Let us just stop this already. She is always fighting until it's not going to be easy in the future. Yeah, I feel like it's just gonna get worse. Yep. I think, uh huh? I wonder if we even have a future. That's me. Oh, poor Hun. Me so relatable. Hey, don't start mumbling like that. If you do, I'll get depressed too. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Phew. On top of this island's mysteries, now there's also Nagito and Fuyuhiko to deal with. Jeez, just one thing after another. In that uncomfortable atmosphere, we finished our breakfast and left for our respective cottages. Yay, I'm back home. So what should I do today? There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Whoa, free time. Ooh, what do you think? Should I do free time now or should I save that for next episode? I don't know. Mm. I'm not the one who's playing. I think we can probably uh, do free time next time. Let's just check on my yeah. pet real quick. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, what's the deal with the hope and despair meter on the left? If you neglect her, she's she has a higher chance of dying. So once once it's filled up, aka okay, don't clean the room and check on her, or don't walk enough, she starts getting the despair meter. Oh, well, how come I haven't given her any hope meter yet? Because you didn't give her any presents. Oh. Well... I can give her the three-star badge. The... Well, some of these I can't give, though, right? No. Yeah. I think I, I think it has to be, um, like, gachapon gifts. Yeah, yeah. These are, like, key items, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, if I go to the shop next time, then I can do that. So I guess uh, gifts can be not just for my classmates, but also for my pet. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm going to go grab my keyboard. Give me a sec. Alright, everybody. Well, thank you for watching Danganronpa 2. Part uh, six or seven? I, I think it's six. But yeah, um, make, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch as always. To Veggie, and make sure to check oh, out. Yes, Veggie. Yeah, make sure to check out Cinnabuntan at Kafo on Instagram. So we'll see everybody in the next episode. So take care.
拜拜。Bye.